Hi, this is Matholomew, and this is the little thing I was kind of making, and freaking hate spiders, or I'm just below the surface, so it's just bothering me. It's halfway through my subway. But this is a little thing I made. It's basically four bits wired up together into a binary counter. And I was going to make it bigger and make it kind of like an ALU, but I ran out of redstone and slime, so I just kind of threw this together and just to play with it. And you can see that on every off, it just sends the tick up ahead, and you can see it ticks, it ticks all the way up to 15, and then it rolls over. I'm just gonna... And here it is at 15, and then you just push it one more time, and it goes back right down to zero. If you needed a counter, you could make it indefinitely long. You just do another one of these, another one of these. Just basically add to the end, because here's the basic circuit right here, is where here's the input in. This is the piston transistor acting like a relay. The power goes through here, turns this one off, that one goes on, keeps the piston extended. And when the power goes through again, goes down. And then here's a little blinker that the power goes to both of them so while it's on doesn't blink both torches go off and then when power goes off both torches are allowed to come on and then this delay lets it so that this one stays on for a couple seconds and then gets turned off by this one so basically you just have one of those in between every one of these so that every time it goes off ticks the next one on or toggles the next one on and just indefinitely you can just run infinite stream of these mm. if you wanted to you wouldn't have to have a thing like this on the front at all, all you'd have to do is uh, wait, do I have a but if you wanted it to be a timer you could do a 16 second timer too just by tearing out this first little bit here and wait no let's stay there. You just oh because it's not wired right. Yeah. Instead of having this button just have pressure pad or with this I'll use a lever that way I don't have to stand on it and then all those down there and of course if you wanted it to activate on the sick on the off you just basically put a blinker after this one here so that when it went off, which it will in a second, right here, it just blink for a second and then toggle on whatever you wanted it to do. And every sixteenth second, it would just toggle. Or if you wanted to, you could make it a larger distance in between the blinker and put a pair of these repeaters in, and then it would stay on for like a second or two seconds or however long you wanted every sixteenth second and then turn off but yeah this is just a little thing I played with 4-bit counter hmm. could be useful if you want to make a little stopwatch because the second you turn off power it stops exactly where you wanted it to stop or wherever however many ticks it went through I mean you can just turn it back on and it continues to count
you know, if you really wanted, you could have a little piston relay right here wired to the uh, wired to a toggle wired to the 16th timer so that when the system went down, went off, that it would automatically stop counting after the 16th second just by having little, like I said, a piston relay here and the pulls the block out and current can't pass through anymore. But yeah, it's just a simple little thing I threw together in on my wirings. Just a fun little thing to have. You could probably find a billion different uses for it. If you, I mean, for anything you wanted, timers, counters. I mean, if you wanted to, you could stop it right there and then just make a second level and then make it a sixteen or hexadecimal counter because it does count fifteen and roll over hexadecimal. So that is my four bit or half byte counter, however you want to call it. I don't care. Um, once I get more slimes and redstone, I'll probably make it much bigger. But for now, this is as far as it gets. So I hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it useful. And I'm going to go hunt for slimes and redstone and kill the spiders that are very, very annoying overhead. Have fun!